Hello there, and welcome. My name is Dr. Calliope, and I'm going to be performing your examination today. How are you doing today? I see. Well, I hope by the time you leave this examination, you feel even just the littlest bit better. Now, I believe that we had you down for a cardiovascular examination. Is this correct? Wonderful. And is there any particular reason why you wanted to have this examination? Before we begin, I'd like to just ask a few confirming details. Firstly, could you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Excellent. And is that your preferred name? And how do you like to be addressed? The cardiovascular examination. For this exam, I am of course going to be looking at the heart, but I'm also going to be doing things like listening to the lungs, looking at the hands, the face, a little bit of the abdomen, the legs and feet. It's actually quite a comprehensive examination. And for this examination, I will need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Wonderful. Thank you. I'd like to get started by taking a look at your hands, if you don't mind. So if you could just show me the tops of your hands. Okay. Good. And here we're looking for things like notes, lesions, xanthelasmas, looking at changes in the nails, as the nails can show a lot about the health, actually. The hair, the skin, and the nails. And I'm going to check the capillary refill on a couple of your fingers. So, I'm just going to be pressing on the nail quite firmly and then letting go. And you can see that the nail and the tip of my finger becomes quite pale. And then when I take my pressure off, the color comes back rather quickly. And that's what we want to see. That indicates that you have good circulation there. So if I could just see your fingers. Okay, good. Right here. Good. Excellent. So I'm going to check the temperature of the hands and arms just with the backs of my hands. Now, I'd like to, real quick, just have you put your fingers together, just like this, so that the nails are back to back. What I'm looking for here is this little window right in between. If we lose that window, it may be an indication of clubbing. If you could just put the nails together like so. Okay, and that window is visible there. 
so I'm not seeing any signs of clipping. Now, if I could have you turn the hands over, please. Mm-hmm. And you haven't had any sort of skin changes or pain in any of the joints. Nothing's felt overly warm. Nothing of that sort. No. Okay. Excellent. And I'm just going to check the sides of the fingers here. Just real quick. Checking the sides of the fingers. Good. like to record down some notes. Now we're going to do a little work with the pulses of your arms. I'm going to start by feeling the pulse at the radial artery here. So we can take a couple of fingers and right below the crease of the wrist, we can take our pulse right here. So I'm going to start by feeling this pulse and then I'll be palpating both pulses bilaterally. So both arms at the same time. Now, I'm just going to press my fingers into the wrist. A little bit of a jumpy pulse. Do you have any nervousness at all? Or is this normal for you? rushed a little bit getting here. I understand that. Sometimes it's like as soon as you sit down, they immediately call you back. Well, then that should most likely settle down a little bit as we go through the exam. So now I'm going to take both radial pulses at the same time. And in here, we're looking for a radio, radial delay. So we're just going to hang out for a few moments while I feel the pulses as they should essentially be synchronized. Okay, and that feels about the same. Very good. Now, to assess more of the quality of your pulse, I'm going to be feeling in at the crook of the elbow here. We're going to be taking the brachial pulse. So if I could just have you lift your sleeve a bit. beats, but more assessing its other characteristics. Okay. Okay, and that feels has quite a nice quality to it. So, lastly, we are going to assess for a collapsing pulse. So, do you happen to have any pain at all in the shoulder or arm? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing my fingers at the radial pulse and I'm going to be lifting the arm pretty quickly 
and feeling. Lowering the arm, and then we'll go up once more, okay? This is looking for a collapsing pulse. So I'm just going to be placing my fingers here and holding on to the arm, and we're going to go Come back down. Good. And let's go right back up. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. And we'll let that come back down. Okay. No signs of a collapsing pulse. bringing out the sphygmo manometer and we're going to be checking your blood pressure. Now with the blood pressure, I'm going to be measuring it twice. So we're going to do it firstly without the stethoscope and then we're going to be doing it with the stethoscope. So I am Just going to be wrapping this around the arm. Right here. Good. And we'll run the lines right down the artery there, and I'm just going to be popping our dial right in the cuff, pretty handy, and then we're going to be inflating the cuff. I'm just going to make sure my valve is closed. on the stethoscope. I'm not all caught up in it. There. Good. And I'm just going to be popping the diaphragm here in the crook of your elbow. to just reinflate the cuff here. You know what I did? Forgot to close the valve back. Okay, so we have 
I'd like to take a little look at the face now, if you don't mind. I'm gonna get a little up close here. I'm just going to scooch a little closer. And we're gonna take a look at the eyes. So I am going to be pulling down the eyes. And I want you to look up. Okay. Pull down on the eyelids here. And then I'm going to pull up, and I want you to look down, right? If I could just pull up here, and if you could look down. Just look down. Good. Okay. So, skin color looks good there. And I want to have a little look in your mouth, if you don't mind. So if you could just open your mouth. I want to look at the health of the tissues and the teeth. It's quite an interesting thing, but actually the health of the teeth is quite closely linked with cardiovascular health. And after the improvement of the dentistry profession, we started seeing life expectancy get quite a bit better. Okay, and if you could just lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Good. Okay. So no signs of central cyanosis. And you can close the mouth. The lips are a good color. There's no duskiness or blueness to them as well. So that looks quite good. And now if we could have a peek at the neck now. So firstly, I'd like to just have a look here. Just like to have a look. I'm going to be palpating the carotid and then we're going to listen for any bruise in the carotid. So I'm just going to be placing my fingers 
one side at a time. This one can be a little uncomfortable. Good. And the other side. Good. Quite a strong pulse there, but the pulse has certainly slowed down quite a bit. We're going to listen for any brewies here, and a brewy is an audible heart murmur. So if I could just have you take a deep breath in, and hold. Good, and you can exhale. Deep breath in. Hold. And exhale. Good. So, I'm going to put this just to the side for a moment. We are going to need it quite shortly, but we're going to be looking at the chest now. So we're going to start with the anterior portion and I'm just going to place my hand over the general area of the heart and I just want to get a feel for what's generally going on. and then just going to be looking for the apex beat here. So this is at the mid-clavicular line right here. And then if we count one, two, three, four, five intercostal spaces and match the two, that's where we can get our apex beat, or at least that's where it should be around. Good, and just feeling the quality of that. Good. Now I'd like to do a little accentuation maneuver with you. I'm going to put my hand over the chest, and if I could have you roll towards your left, okay, so that, yep, this hand goes, okay, right there. We'll just hold this for a moment. Good, and then let's come back. Very good. So now I'd like to feel for heaves and thrills. These are palpable heart murmurs. So I'm going to feel for heaves with the heel of my hand. So I'm going to feel for heaves with the heel of my hand. Good, and then I'm going to feel for thrills with the flats of my fingers in a couple different places here. Right there, and then we get more towards the sternal border here. Okay, all right, very good.
now we're going to bring the stethoscope back into play and I'm going to listen to the heart in four main places and we're going to start with listening with the bell of the stethoscope so this is better for listening to lower pitch sounds and the diaphragm is better for listening to higher pitch sounds so we're going to go over here and start with the aortic area good and then we have the pulmonary you know when I need you to breathe a certain way. Okay, and now I'm going to turn this to the diaphragm. We're going to go back over, listening to aortic. you roll to this side now and do a little accentuation maneuver here. If you could just roll, there you go. Okay, excellent. So now I'm going to have you sit up and then I'm going to have you come forward. All right. Do a little more accentuation. So if you could sit upright. Okay, and then if you could just bend forward. There we go. And we'll listen for a moment here. Okay, so I am going to have you take a breath, and then when you exhale, I'm going to have you hold that, okay? So take a deep breath in, and out, and hold. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to take these off for a moment. And if you could just stay like that. I'm going to be going around to your back. Just going to do that down. Good. So now, as you lean forward, I'm going to have you cross your arms over your chest, okay? So this spreads the posterior chest wall a little bit. I'm going to be going behind you, and we're going to be doing some percussion. I'm going to be listening to your back. I'm also going to check for any edema at the base of your spine, all right? Okay, so let me go ahead and just go around back. And we're going to start with the percussion. So I'm just going to be tapping on your back here. Good, 
and then I'm just going to be listening to your lungs. So if I could have you take a deep breath in for me and out. Deep breath in 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 and out. Last one, deep breath in and out. Good. So now let's check for any sacral edema here. You'll just feel my hand on your low back. Press in a little bit. Okay, and that all looks good. So I'm going to be coming back around and just noting those results down. So now I am going to be having you lie flat on your back and we're going to be taking a little look at the abdomen, alright? So if you could just go ahead and lie back. Good. And I'm just going to look firstly. Any particular strong pulsation. Sometimes if you look real close, you can see your pulse in your abdomen, but it should be that you do have to look close. Okay, and I'm going to be pressing down on your abdomen, okay? We're just going to check that pulsation by feel. Okay. Good. So I'm going to have a listen to the aorta. And we're also going to listen for any bruise in the renal arteries. So, I'm going to place the stethoscope on your abdomen here. If I could just have you take a deep breath in and out and hold. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was your breathing or not. Okay, so now I'm going to be listening. Okay, all right, so that that sounds pretty good. And we're not going to need the stethoscope anymore. I'm going to have a little look at your legs and your feet, and then we're going to be feeling around some pulses, okay? So I'm going to take a look at the legs. skin changes. Any ulcerations? Good. I'm going to check the temperature. The backs of my hands here. Okay, so that's all pretty consistent. Good, and the feet. The 
looking at the bottom of the foot in between the toes sides of the feet okay problems with swelling in your legs or feet that seems inappropriate, like not after you've been walking around all day, but maybe after you've stood for a short time, anything like that. Okay, I'm going to check the ankles for any pitting edema here. We'll see we do any of, have any of that swelling issue. Okay, and the skin just goes right back to normal. So now I'm going to be palpating the post-tib and dorsalis pedis pulses before we come up to the popliteal. So I'm just going to be feeling a couple places around the foot and ankle. Good. Right here. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm just going to check the capillary refill as well. Press down and release. Good, so circulation looks good. And then we can come up to the popliteal pulse behind the knee. So this can be kind of a tricky area. I'm going to move your leg so that it's more at a 30 degree angle. It's kind of bent. And I'm going to be using my hands to wrap around the leg. So if I can just... There. Have you bend like that? And I'm gonna feel around back here. Make sure that this one isn't overly strong. Okay. And the other side. Okay, you can bend that and just palpate for that popliteal pulse. Okay, yeah, I can feel a little bit in there, so that's good. And the very last thing we're going to do is the burgers test. And what this is, is I'm going to hold your leg up at a 45 degree angle. We're going to sit here for a little bit, and then I'm going to have you sit up and swing your legs over the bed, okay? And we're going to look at how the blood vessels respond to that sort of stimuli, okay? So, I'm going to take your leg here, and we're just going to lift up, and we're going to sit here for a little bit. So, generally, we can do this two to three minutes, one to two minutes. But so far you've been a rather healthy individual. I don't expect that we'll get a positive, but it never hurts to look anyway. The worst thing that can happen is that we wasted a couple of minutes. It's not a big deal. Good. Okay, let's bring that down. And I'm 
gonna have you sit up and swing your legs over to the side. Good. And then we're just going to watch how the leg responds. Look at the color. Look at how everything pinks back up. Okay. All right. I think that that is just fine. So, with that, I think that that is going to conclude our cardiovascular examination. Did you have any questions for me at all? Any concerns? Anything you think I may have missed? No? Okay. I'm going to sign off on your chart. Thank you so much for coming to my office for this cardiovascular examination. I really enjoyed having you as my patient. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. sci-fi